Hello and welcome to um, Thursday's show and um, we have God here and if you um, who is going to be talking through me and if you um, like what what he has to say and, and, and like listening to these videos don't forget to subscribe if you're watching on Instagram don't forget to follow and um, anyway let's go let's go straight to God and hear what he has to say God is saying to me that um, he is full of love for mankind um, and his heart is bursting with pride and joy for the many evolved souls that he has created since, t since time has begun. He says that he would like to explain um, some of the uh, situations or some of the environments that that he um, enables for evolved souls because he feels that this will enlighten many people who are who are watching these videos. He says that sometimes he will have a soul that will come back to his world and that soul will be full of love and full of compassion and, and have given themselves so readily and so eagerly to many people on the earth plane. He says that when that soul comes back to his world, these, th this is the soul that he wishes to accompany. This is the soul that he wishes to have in his life and, and be present around him. And he will always go to the soul and say, um, I would like you to for you to join me in my kingdom of light, the, the kingdom where it is full of light and love and compassion and um, so that you can feel all the love that I have in, in my kingdom and, and enjoy the love. And for some souls, they are so excited um, at the thought of spending time um, in, in my kingdom. And um, he, he is also excited at their decision for wanting to spend time in, in his kingdom. But then there are the souls that equally are as evolved and equally have given themselves to many people, but they are the ones that choose to come back to the earth plane and, and live another life. Uh, for they have a preference in, in, on the earth plane um, rather than be in, in my kingdom. And for those, it is a sad moment when, when they choose that. But equally, it is a joyful moment because he says that when they choose to do um, come back to the earth plane um, and live another life, he will always construct a life that enhances their ability to be compassionate and loving um, because he feels that they have so much to offer and so much to give to mankind. And he wouldn't like to um, get in the way of their of their ability to, to shine their light amongst many people that need a light to be shone on. Um, and for those souls that he is extremely grateful for, for their continued commitment um, of always wanting to help mankind. But of course, there will come a time when, when those souls um, then have to come back to, to, the, to his kingdom. And, and this is the time that he will always um, give the op option um, and the opportunity to spend time, more time in his kingdom. And sometimes they will then choose to stay, remain there. Um, and then, of course, other times um, they will continue to go on and, and take on another life. He says that he doesn't want to inflict his, his wants and desires on, on anyone. Um, he says that his, his preference is that people have their free will to be in the place where they want to be. But when a soul chooses to remain with him, um, a soul that is given so much, a soul that has, 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 has compassion and love in their heart and chooses to stay in his kingdom, he is full of gratitude and full of love for that person and will eagerly enjoy their, their presence in his kingdom. He wants to talk about, about Gail, um, that's me, 
and he says that she is an example of of what I'm talking about. Um, Gail has taken on many many lives and 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 chosen to always take on a life where she helps people and 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 gives of herself to many people. And and he says that I am in absolute gratitude to Gail for for everything that she has has done to to help me in in the evolvement of man, because he feels that if it hadn't have been for Gail so many times that um, man would not have evolved in the way that they have, um, and and he says that he will always be protective and and grateful for Gail's work um, continually, life after life after life. In this life, she has chosen, um, with my assistance and with my guidance, to take on another task that will be helping mankind and and giving of herself to mankind. With her help, it is his hope that an understanding of the truths of his world will be expressed to many, many people so that they um, turn their heads and move around to the idea that God, that myself as God exists, that I am true to, to many people, that I, I live a life of, of um, um, wanting to help mankind at all times. And he feels that this truth coming to so many people um, will will enable mankind to take the next step in their involvement and have the light shine upon them. For it is his wish that all of mankind eventually reach the point where the light is surrounding them and the light is all around them so that they um, will be as evolved as perhaps Gail is. And he's saying that um, in time um, he feels that this is extremely possible and he wants to assure people that it is his intention that he will be by Gail's side every step of the way, um, um, wanting to speak to as many people as possible and also to show people that he is a good God and a loving God and to help people in their minds know that there is only one way forward and that is to walk in the light, to walk with love and walk with compassion and, and to have the, the essence of themselves so that that they can shine that light to as many people as possible. He's thanking you all for listening and he wishes to pray and he hopes that you will join him in prayer. And he's bowing my head and bringing my hands together. It is my greatest wish, of course, that all of mankind reaches a point where they are full of love and compassion in their hearts, that they shine the light to as many people as possible. It is also in gratitude that I give to all of those souls that have reached that point and are now able, enabling other people to become as, as light and as, as good and as full of love as, as indeed Gail is. He thanks you for all watching his video and being part of his world and, and the earth plane. And he wants to show to everyone that he loves each and every person as much as the next person. And he's thanking you for all listening. And um, so this, I feel, is, is a really fascinating show. And the reason why I feel it's fascinating is he's shown an insight into the choices that we have when we go back to his world. We really do have a choice. And that choice is we either stay there or we take on another life. And... Um, and I think that's that's fascinating. I know from previous um, videos that when someone isn't as evolved or has done some some things that aren't so good and are living in darkness, I suppose, they are 
not given the opportunities in the same way that an evolved soul is. So what he's talking about is very much an evolved soul uh, where they have the choices. I believe that when somebody isn't as evolved, he may suggest that their only option is to take on another life so that they can reach that point of being more evolved. Um, and the fact that he's always loving and caring for, for all of mankind. Um, very sweet God, isn't he? Anyway, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed this and see you on Sunday. Goodbye.